Well, welcome. We are back in Canada and the ice is actually off the lake and we have a beautiful sunny day. Today's episode, we're going to take you back to San Miguel de Allende to another house tour. We found a lovely home called Casa Calibre. So join us as we take a tour. Welcome back everyone. Uh, Mike here and I'm with Laura and as the intro uh, introduced we're doing a quick home tour today. So this was a beautiful little spot in the colonia called Santa Julia um, in San Miguel de Allende. Um, so it was comprised of I think it was about 26 homes in this I'll call it a gated community. You'll see in some of the video here what that looks like. And it felt very local um, and in a nice way. The homes were very well taken care of and the outside as well as the interior as well as the security. So you had places for your car and a little bit of open space in the car park. A little front area but just very well maintained. Yeah, I, I think the this setup was different than ones we had seen previously. We're walking up and down kind of a shared walkway here that has homes on each side. Um, so there may have been six, seven homes down each of these uh, walkways that we're looking at. So it really was kind of a shared outdoor space here and you were, um, you know, walking right past your neighbor's uh, front door. So that was, that was a little bit different than from some of the other gated communities that we looked at. And the homes, even though they were attached, they weren't cookie cutter. As you could tell, some had fountains out front, um, different colors. It just had a really nice vibe and feel. Yeah. So here I took a shot of the parking lot. So you, you did have a parking that was not right in front of your house, but it was in the community or in the complex. And this was all inside of a gated area. Um, I didn't get a shot of the actual gate with the, um, the security guard standing there, but there was certainly a sense of security within this area. This, um, in the colonia it was in, was in the middle of an area that, as Laura said, was very local. So, um, so this was kind of like a, you know, a little bit of a paradise inside an area where there was a lot of local people, which, um, you know, had a lot of flair to it. And you could see actually in the parking lot there was a high wall and I believe there was a school on the other side. But let's take a look inside and see uh, how unusual this home is. Ticked a lot of boxes for me. Yeah, it really did. Um, so we've been struggling a little bit as we've been looking at homes because we either find one that has a beautiful outside terrace, but the actual indoor space isn't much to our liking, or it has a beautiful indoor space but it doesn't have a terrace or, or if it does have one, the view isn't all that inviting. And you got to look at those gorgeous, gorgeous ceilings. And one of my uh, musts after arriving in the colder area was to have some sort of a heat source. And as you can see, I was checking out the gas fireplace. And, but again, those ceilings, they really call to me. I, I do love the architecture in San Miguel and many of the homes have these, these unusual ceilings. Yeah, so this house fell into the category of we love the indoor space. Um, the outdoor space was, was a little bit lacking for us and we'll see that in a second in the video. But uh, beautifully uh, decorated. Uh, I like the colors of the walls. Um, we're just coming into the kitchen here with the video. Um, the kitchen was a little bit smaller, 
It was, but it did have cupboards that were fairly new and I love the backsplash tile. It, it was really, really lovely. Gas fireplace had the six burners so we could have good sized family dinners. And I don't know if you took in that when you walked in, if you walked through, there was the patio that had like the laundry area that the dogs could maybe go pee in the middle of the night for. Yeah. Um, so here we are walking, uh, there was one, I'll call it a bedroom, it was a main floor bedroom. It could either be a bedroom or an office, depending on how you wanted to use it. Um, but, but again, a fair, fair size room that, uh, as I said, you could purpose it however you liked. Um, it had this window that looked out onto that shared courtyard. And there were small dogs, kitty corn to it. I know that the real estate agent had warned us that some of the windows were older and that one we might want to replace with something that would be a little bit more soundproof. We have dogs as well, so I can imagine the dog barking wars would be quite a bit. Again, a lot of really good storage space. Michael mentioned that they had some under the stairs, but you can see tons and this seemed to be a common thread with the bedrooms in this particular home. Yeah, it, again, had really nice space. Now this one was priced at 189,000 uh, US dollars, um, which, which honestly is quite reasonable for the house that you're getting here. Like the indoor space at 189,000 was, seemed to be an attractive price. Oh, 100%. It's just really, it was lacking some of the outdoor appeal as you'll see when we go up the stairs. The stairs themselves are just beautiful. You can see the tiling underneath and the lighting going up. Maybe not so dog friendly because, you know, the, the dogs with the tile is, is not always compatible going up the stairs, but it did have um, the space there where you could put an office or a desk as well so even though if you wanted to have two bedrooms or guests over that bottom floor guest bedroom would be fantastic but going up the stairs again the downstairs match the upstairs as far as quality and workmanship every little bit of detail really showed craftsmanship and attention to detail yeah the floor level lighting on the stairs was uh, really neat it's not really being captured all that great in the video here but it was a really nice touch I could uh, I could see how that would be valuable in the evenings um, especially as you get older and you might not be as sure-footed and you'd want to have a good view of the stairs so even in the bathrooms here um, again nicely decorated but also had the nice bovida ceilings in the bathroom too which is just it just had that charm that we were looking for that colonial feel in, in a house 100% and the tiling um, which can be a little bit loud sometimes was really complimentary and it really showed in this particular home. The, now the furniture we had been told it had been a rental and necessarily wouldn't be coming with it but that too was negotiable. Mm -hmm. So this is the, um, there are two bedrooms upstairs. We just walked through one of them that had the two single beds in it. And now we're walking out onto the outdoor patio space. So as you can see, it is not a large patio by any means. Um, and the view, as you can see right here, is, is not of the parochia or a great view of the mountains or anything. Uh, it's a little bit industrial. You can see the neighbor's patio to the right was a gorgeous size and might be problematic with the dogs. I think they would get barking. And again, the view isn't the greatest, but it did have that indoor space. Yeah, so, so it's a really nice, uh, I would call it like a, a nice townhouse feel here. Um, you were right on top of all of your neighbors. And so if, if you had an issue with neighbors and you didn't like people close to you, this probably wasn't the property for you. That's the neighbor's um, patio there, which was much larger than the one we had, but you're staring right at them and they're staring right at you. So for 189,000 in minimal fee condo fees, it was a good deal overall. Yeah, yeah. Just didn't quite have that outdoor space we were looking for. And this is the master bedroom. Um, so, so yeah, again, um, we were impressed by it. Certainly something we would consider and we talked about, could we actually add a 
bigger patio on top of this. We had an engineer with us that was contemplating whether that was possible. But thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed uh, this episode and please subscribe if you haven't. We're getting lots of good comments and uh, we'd love for you to be part of our community. Thanks again and enjoy. Still for sale, so it's still on the books and we're still considering.